If you have a list with some dates, it might be important for analysis and reporting to extract information from these dates, such as the day, the month, the year, for which we have corresponding functions. But sometimes you need much more information, such as the day name, if the store offers a discount on Fridays, or the month name, if a company celebrates the birthday of employees born on each month, maybe the quarter of the year for budgeting or even the week number. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to get all this information either with a single cell function or by using Power Query. Let me know in a comment which method you prefer. Now let's switch to Excel. In this worksheet, I have a list of dates in column A and in row number 2, I have some abbreviation for the date component. I would like to extract the day in digit, the day abbreviated, the full name of the day, the month in digit, the month abbreviated, the full name of the month, and the year. I will be also extracting the quarter and the week of the year. Let me granularize the concept. I start by creating a text function in cell C3. I type equal text. I open bracket. I want the text of these values. A date is stored as a serial number. From A3 to A23, I type a comma. I don't need to type the abbreviation as usual in double quotation. I can simply select the column headers in row number 2. I close the bracket for the text function, and when I hit enter, it spills to the adjacent cells, and I was able to extract the corresponding information. For the quarter, it requires a little bit more doing, because we don't have a quarter function. In a previous tutorial, I explained five different ways of extracting the quarter, either by using the choose function, a VLOOKUP function, or by using a round function or the ceiling function. But the method I'm going to use right now is a magical method. Let me explain it to the side and then come back and extract the quarter. In this worksheet, I have a list of dates. So if I use the month function to extract the month, in column B, I get a list of months from 1 to 12. What if I multiply each one of these months by 10? So I type an equal sign, I click on cell B3, and I multiply it by 10. Where I hit enter, and then I copy down, I get a list of numbers 10, 20, 30, and so on. Just imagine if these numbers are just serial numbers. What if I extract the month of these numbers? So if I type equal month, and then I hit tab, I want the month of the months multiplied by 10. When I close the bracket and hit enter, I get a number which will be exactly the quarter that we are looking for. When I copy down, then I get for January, February, and March, I get quarter one. April, May, June, I get quarter two. July, August, September, and so on. Now let's apply this concept for extracting the quarter. I type equal month. Month of what? Month of the month. I open bracket. I copy the range. I close the bracket and I multiply by 10. I close the bracket for the outer month function. When I hit enter, I would have extracted the quarter. We have a function for the week number. So if I use equal week num, the week number function requires a serial number. I'm going to select all this range. I type a comma. And then I want to specify that the week starts on a Monday. Then I type 2. I close the bracket. And this function will return an error. Why is it returning an error? The week number is not able to deal with this entire array. So I'm going to put the week number in a by row function. I hit F2. And then I type by row. I hit the tab key. I select the range. And I want to extract the week number row by row for this range. I type a comma. The by row is a lambda helper function. Then I type lambda. I open bracket. I type a variable. And I can call it x. I type a comma. x represents each row in this range. I want to extract the weak number of x. I close the bracket at the end for the lambda function. I close the bracket at the end for the by row function. When I hit enter, I would have extracted the year. Instead of having all these functions, I'm going to combine them all together in one single 
let function. I delete and then I select cell C3. I expand the formula bar, control shift U, and I start creating my let function equal let, and then I hit tab. My first variable will be called A, and A will be storing the list of dates. I type a comma, alt enter to move to the next line. My second variable will be B. I type a comma. B will be storing the result of the text function. Then I type text. I hit tab. Text of what? Text of A comma. And I select the top row from C2 to I2. I close the bracket. I type a comma. I hit alt enter to move to the next line. My next variable C will be storing the function that extracts the quarter. I type a comma. The beautiful function months of the months multiplied by 10. I type a comma. Alt enter to move to the next line. My next variable D will be extracting the week number. This is my by row function. I type a comma. I type by row. By row of the range A. I type a comma. I want my lambda function. I open bracket. I give the name x to my variable, I type a comma, and the function will be a weak number, weak num of x, which is each row in the list of dates, comma 2, because I want to start on a Monday, I close the bracket for the weak num, I close the bracket for the lambda, I close the bracket for the by row function, I type a comma, and then I hit alt enter to move to the last line, where I want to put all the variables together, b, c, and d, that's an edge stack function. I want b, comma c, comma d. I close the bracket for the edge stack. I close the bracket for the let function. Where I hit enter, I get the result I'm looking for. To improve the legibility of the numbers returned for the quarter and week, I'm going to add a little prefix for each one of them. Then I select my function. I click before the month function, the variable C, and I type in double quotation quarter and a space. And then I use the joining operator of Excel, shift 7 on your keyboard. For the by row, I can do the same in double quotation. I type week and a space. I close the double quotation. I use the joining operator of Excel. And then when I hit enter, I get the result I'm looking for. I can achieve the same exact result by using Power Query. On another worksheet, I have the same list of dates converted into a table and I named it dates. I'm going to send it to Power Query by going to the data tab of the ribbon and click on from table range. The query editor opens on top of Excel. I change the data type for date and I make it date. And now I'm going to extract all the information I need, each in a separate column. And to do that, with the date selected, I go to Add Column, and to the right side, I click on the down arrow for Date. I start by going to Day. I want the day in digits, then I select Day. I select the Date column one more time. I click on the down arrow for Date. I go to the Day one more time. This time, I want the name of the day. I want to copy this column. I select it, and then I right-click, and from the right-click menu, I select Duplicate Column. For the day name, I want one of them abbreviated, and one of them will be the full name of the day. Then I select day name, I go to the transform tab, I click on the down arrow for extract, I want to extract first three characters, I type three, and when I hit OK, I get the day name abbreviated. I go back to date now, I want to do the same for the month. I go to the Add Column tab, I click on the down arrow for date, I go to month, I want the months in digits, then I select month. Select the date column one more time, click on the down arrow for date, go to month, and I want the name of the month. I want to duplicate this column, right click and duplicate column. The first one will be the abbreviated name, then I go to the transform tab and I extract the first characters. I type 3 and then I hit OK. I select the date column and now I want to extract the quarter. I click on the Add Column tab, I click on the down arrow for date, I go to Quarter and I select Quarter of the Year. When I get the Quarter of the Year, I would like to add the QTR abbreviation. That requires adding a Custom Column. I click on Custom Column, I type the Field Header, QTR, and I use a Text.Combine function. I type Text.Combine. 
I open bracket, it says text is list, and I'm going to open a curly bracket because I'll be providing a list, and I'll be typing in double quotation, QTR, and a space, I close the double quotation, I type a comma, and I want to join the quarter. When I select the quarter, if I hit enter, it will return an error, then I want to convert the quarter into a list. So I use a special function for doing that, text.from. I open bracket, you want the text from what? I want the text from quarter, I double click on it, and then I close the bracket for the text.from, and I close the curly bracket for the text.combine, and I close the bracket for the text.combine. When I hit enter, I get exactly what I'm looking for. I delete the quarter, right click and remove. To extract the week number, I select the date. On the add column tab, I click on the down arrow for date and I select week. I click on week of year. That returns the week of the year. Sunday is the first day of the week. But when I created the same report by using a function, I used the week number and I specified Monday as the first day of the week. How can I change that? I need to modify the M code. In the formula bar, I click right after the closing square bracket of date. I type a comma and I add a little Power Query function that changes the first day of the week. It's day.monday. I can select any other day as you can see. I select day.monday. Keep an eye on this number. The 25 will change and it will become 26. I hit enter and I get exactly what I'm looking for. Now I want to add the prefix week of the year. Then I add a custom column. I click on custom column. I can give it a name week forward slash year. And this will be another text.combine function. I open bracket. The text.combine requires a list. I type a curly bracket and in double quotation, I type week space double quote. I type a comma. I want to join this prefix week to the week of the year extracted in the previous step. But the week of the year is a number. Then I need to use the text.from as I did before. I select the week of the year. I close the bracket for the text.from, I close the curly bracket, and I close the bracket for the text.combine. When I hit enter, I get exactly what I want. I don't need this column week of year. I remove it, right click and remove. Also, I don't want the date column anymore. I right click and remove it. I select all the columns by hitting Ctrl A on the transform tab. I click on detect data type. The last step is to rename the columns using the corresponding abbreviations. And now I can send my data back to Excel. I go to the Home tab. I click on the down arrow for Close and Load. I select Close and Load 2. I select Existing Worksheet and I select Cell C2. I hit OK and I get exactly the same result I achieved with a single cell function. Let me know in a comment which method you prefer. And if you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.